Hey Banks Gang, it's Anila here and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time of how my brother friend stole from me and had the audacity to sit here and tell me his hair, his hair, his hair on his head made him steal from me, y'all. That is the weirdest shit I've ever heard. That is the creepiest shit I ever heard. Yep, let's get into it. I was at work, I had a really great time at work and I was out of town, so I came into town. Now what happens is, whenever I would come into town, my people, they would always celebrate with me. And our way of celebrating was smoke outs. This particular day, it was me, my nephew, my brother, and my brother two friends and we're gonna name one of his friends carlos and we're gonna name the other friend lee john when we get there or whatever everybody's rolling up everybody's making, you know everybody doing what they got to do and you're making small talk in that time frame catching up on with people on people whatever so lee john is sitting up here telling us how he tired of being broke and he want to end his life and he's sick of his hustles not working and he's so broke he can't even afford mariana and you know, he just, he just a bum and he just hated. He need to boss his life up. That's what he was telling us. So we about to smoke y'all. You know, when you smoke, you got to have something to chase it with. You know, you got to drink a little something cause your throat get dry. You get cotton mouth. You got to lubricate that throat of yours. So we had all went into the kitchen to go get some Kool-Aid. Now two people stayed in the room. Those two people are Carlos and Lee John. So while we're out there in the room, you know, we're up in the kitchen making Kool-Aid cracking jokes and shit like that. So we weren't even gone for two minutes. I left my purse in my brother's room because that's what I always did. I didn't live there. So I left my purse in my brother's room and I've never had a problem with my purse being left in my brother's room, like ever in my life, until this damn day. So we leave out and Lee John and Carlos is still in the room. Now, when I come back, I find it weird how Lee John all of a sudden had started this job last week of him being like a professional porn star. He, he, he does things with old ladies and he gets paid for it. And he was supposed to get paid this Friday, but they somehow did a direct deposit for him of $300. Direct deposit meaning it's going into your bank account, meaning it's on like a debit card, right? Right, right. Because direct deposit don't mean cash, right? Comment down below if direct deposit means cash because i'm confused along this story time let me confuse you so you can you can catch up with me so when we come back in the room from getting our kool-aid because we about to smoke now so when we come back in the room um all of a sudden now lee john talking about some how he just got this direct deposit he trying to go match with us so he he want my little brother to take him to go get some mariana and to go get some swishers because he doesn't own a car he's the oldest out of all of us he doesn't own a car but my little brother does so he was asking my little brother can he take him to the store and to go get his mariana my little brother's like okay so now red flags going off in my head i said wait a minute girl i think you need to go and check your purse so i go in there and i check my purse and i'm missing 300 dollars. and it's weird because he just said he made 300 what they just they just direct deposited 300 dollars into his account but i'm missing 300 dollars. so i said wait a minute i'm missing two blue faces in, a, in an old school hundred dollar bill so i pulled my nephew and my brother to the side because those are the two closest people to me in this room and i break the whole situation down to them i said well i know how much money i made and y'all know me i know how much money i made i know how much money i had in my purse i even know down to the exact type of hundreds which was in my purse like even the numbers that's on the hundred y'all i'm a little weird so then my little brother and my nephew they like damn gee that's crazy that's super crazy i don't know i don't know you know it's always it's crazy and i don't know when it ain't they business when it's your business now you you know you overreacting or something all of a sudden, Lee John, he want to leave real fast. He want to go like right now. We ain't even smoke yet, y'all. We ain't even hit the blunt. We ain't even fucking sparked the damn thing up yet. I go to Carlos. I said, Carlos, did you take my money out my purse? And Carlos was like, no, Anala, I ain't take the money out the purse. Actually, I got up and went to the big bathroom. I don't know if y'all name y'all bathrooms. But anyway, he said that he went to the big bathroom and only Lee John was in the room. So it just had to be Lee John. I'm like, okay, this is a little fishy. Let's play a little investigation here. So I told my little brother, I said, take him, take him. And then nephew, I want you to go with him. And I want you to text me, keep me updated with everything. So they go do what they do. They go get the Mariana first. And then it's time to go to the gas station. So my nephew calls me and was like, hey, we're going over there to the gas station on 12th and North. So I go over there and I'm in the parking lot just waiting. So Lee John, y'all look at my baby. So Lee John, he goes into the gas station with my nephew and I tell my nephew, hey, I'm missing $300. If you see him with two blue faces or one old school $100 bill, call me and let me know. 
Y'all, my nephew calls me back not even 10 seconds later and was like, gee, I'm looking at the money in his pocket right now. He just pulled out an old school $100 bill. Now, to some people, they may say that might have been his money, but no, because just two minutes ago, you were sitting up there saying how you ain't got no money and you're broke and you about to end it all, and now all of a sudden, you got $300. Stop fucking playing with me. So I said, okay, bet. Meet me at mama house. I go to mama house, and I'm sitting there in the kitchen. I'm hot. I ain't even smoked yet, y'all. I'm sitting there. I'm pissed. I am fucking livid, y'all. My radiator blew again. I see red. So I'm sitting there pacing around back and forth in my mom's kitchen. I'm just going back and forth. So my mom's like, Nala, what's wrong? And I was like, Lee John, he stole my money. And she was like, Lee John wouldn't steal from you. Lee John is a thief. I'm the type of person, if I have it and I really know you and you need it, I will borrow it to you. I will. I will borrow it to you. All you had to do was ask. You ain't have to steal from me. That's the fucked up part about it. Like, and we're supposed to be friends. I'm talking about his brother did my first tattoo, y'all. When I was 14, I got my first tattoo. His brother did my tattoo. Like, your mom knows me. I know your mom. I know your sister. We kick it with each other every single day. At this point, this man is damn near my brother. How the fuck do you steal from me? And be okay with it. I'm pacing around back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in my mom's kitchen. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, Lee John stole from me. She was like, oh, no, no, no. And everybody trying to tell me, no, I'm overthinking it. That could be really his money, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, that's crazy how when it ain't your money, you got everything that you want to say slick about it. But when it is your money, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be mad. I don't understand folks' logic. I really don't. So I told my mom, I said, mom, if your kitchen window right here was to get busted out, how much would it be? And she said, my homeowners insurance, sure they're going to charge me 500 for that window right there. I said, well, how about I give you $500 right now? Because I'm about to throw Lee John out your window. Oh, Nala, you ain't about to do that. No, I'm about to throw him out the window. While I'm having this conversation with my mom, everybody pulls up and Lee John walks in on the part where I'm talking about throwing his ass out the window. My mom was like, no, let me talk to him first. I said, no, I see red. So my nephew, he's not even really 18 yet. He's still a minor and his guy is grown like he's legal my nephew was waiting on me to get him the word to take off on him because he was like if you take off on him i'm taking off on him but if you want me to handle that just nod your head or just do something so i could do it i want to fight him myself i don't want nobody else to fight him i can fight my own fucking battles i don't give a fuck if it's a man or a woman shit that's just me i'm hard-headed like that so my mom gets in the midst of it and she's trying to talk to him and then he get to breaking down crying at the table talking about some it was my hair it was my hair that made me do it i don't know why i listened to my hair I shouldn't have listened to it but my hair really was telling me to just go in her purse and take her money i really did go in her purse i really did take her money and i apologize that was not me that is not like me i have never did anything like this before in the past to y'all and i hope you can accept my apology and my mom was like get off my property and you are never welcome back here now my mom she is from down south and she can be with the shits but my mom is an older lady y'all my mom her 60s if y'all don't know this so my mom is sitting there she's like non-violent she doesn't want to really get into violence unless like it causes for it which is she's just a non-violent person she don't want to get in the mix of that stuff which i understand she's an older lady but like y'all i'm so serious this man really has the audacity to sit up here and say that his hair is the reason why he's winning my purse and stole from me and then he had all that to sit up there and ask my little brother can my little brother take him home now at this time we was staying where we were staying at and he stayed on the south side of milwaukee who finna drive who finna drive to take your ass home when you just stole from my sister you really got the audacity to sit up here and ask me if i'm gonna sit up here and take your ass home after you just stole this from my sister so before he left y'all before he walked up out of my mom's house i went in his pockets and i took all the mariana that he just bought i took all them swishers that he just bought i took the change that was jiggling in his damn pants pocket and i also took the rest of my money back because i ain't seen him yet but i can't wait till i see him because i've been looking for him honey i sure have i ain't been looking looking but i've been looking for him that's the story time of when my brother's friend decided to go in my purse take my money lie about it and then admit to it and say that his hair is the reason why he stole from me he could not tell us what his hair said or how his hair moved or the vibration or something i don't know he couldn't tell us y'all but that's the time when he did that so if you enjoyed today's story time and you want to see more story times from me or like to hear more story times from me, make sure you click that big old subscribe button right there because I would love to have you here at part of the Banks Gang. Because me love you, honey. And also give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. If you have a certain story time or a genre of a story that you would like me to tell here on my channel, you make sure you leave that in the comment section. Also share this video with your family and friends. And until next time, Banks Gang, me love you and bye. Bye.